Hello YouTube, Ultra Maximus back with another Transformers review. Today we're taking a look at a Transformers Alternators figure, and I haven't done one of these in a long time, and I've never done one in the package. It's Prowl, the Acura RSX. And a big shout out and thank you to my very good friend and uh, fellow YouTuber, CakedUp83. Thank you, sir, very much for this figure. Uh, he actually sent this figure to me. Um, I think he already had one. And uh, he did a trade for some figures, and this was part of the trade, so he was very, very kind. And uh, he sent this to me because he knows I'm a huge Alternators fan. And I did not have this figure, so very cool. Kudos. Thank you, sir. This is also the number one pick for my latest Fans Choice video, so you guys wanted to see it. Here it is. So let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. So here we have Prowl in the package, and I gotta say, I really do like the Alternators packaging. I've always really, really thought this was a cool set because if you wanted to, you could kind of keep this as a model um, and just keep it on your shelf. Uh, now this one's got uh, some damage uh, from being crunched, but that's okay, it's coming out of package. And like I said, uh, my buddy Caked Up got this uh, in a trade, so is what it is. But this is what the Alternators packaging looks like. We get the figure inside, uh, kind of this bubble that sits on a uh, flat box, which is cool. We have artwork of Prowl right here. It says Transformers, Alternators, Robots in Disguise right there. Hasbro, what vehicle he is. He's the Acura RSX Prowl, looking very, very cool. So here's the back of the package, uh, which has kind of this little portal thing so you can see the figure inside, which is really cool. And it says Transformers. Just kind of a side shot here, real fast. Uh, yeah, it looks really, really nice. This side's got the Acura logo and Transformers. And this side's pretty much the same um, that we saw before. On the other side, just kind of a nicer look. This is actually the way it was sitting on my shelf. Um, looks really, really nice. And then underneath, that's where all this stuff is at. So we got a picture of Prowl here, which is interesting. Similar to the old style, but different. Now there is a mod you can do to the legs to give you more of a G1 style look. Um, there is uh, the vehicle mode. Um, and then there is his little picture on his saying, which says, uh, clear thinking is the key to victory. So remember that. And then it says his, uh, little engine becomes a pistol. He's got a nightstick and then, uh, he has detailed interior, uh, which is really, really cool. So yeah, definitely digging, uh, this figure. I think, uh, the alternators were really cool in the fact that they look like model cars that turned into a more G1 style looking robot, at least with the head sculpts um, and in a real world modern look. And I've always liked the alternators for that. So let's go ahead and get Prowl out of the box and see what we think. So before we actually take a look at Prowl, just what he comes with real quick, uh, he does have his instruction sheet, and that's really about it. And then, ah, oh man, I forgot how about impossible these boxes were to get open. But the cool thing is underneath um, the figure, you actually get the Autobot logo kind of blasting out. And that's really damn cool, and I thought I would show that off. So here we have Prowl out of the package, and I gotta say, this is an amazing amazing car mode. I really do like this. I think this looks super sharp. Um, I've always been a fan of the alternators. Um, I mean, these to, to me, this was the, the Masterpiece before Masterpiece came out. More of an update version of Masterpiece, I guess. And I just really, really appreciate these, and they still stand the test of time. It rolls so well. We get this nice, got the nice rubber tires, the front wheels uh, turn, which is nice. The detail, we've got the little uh, police badge here, highway patrol on the side, just like the old G1 style, except it's on this Honda. Um, uh, it just, or this Acura, uh, just absolutely amazing. We've got the um, police symbol here, an Autobot logo, uh, the Acura logo, and the grill just looking so sick, so super sharp. Love the headlights, love the clear plastic and the silver plastic and the turn signals inside it. Oh, that is so sick. Um, the wheels look nice, the rubber tires, uh, we've got the windshield wipers, that detailed interior looks really, really cool. I am digging that. We can see the dashboard, the, uh, the gauges, all that kind of stuff. It's even got the rear uh, window wiper. Uh, the back looks sick. Love those. Love those taillights. That's what every Transformer should have. 
the reverse lines, the Acura symbol, uh, license plate that says Prowl with an Autobot logo, looking sick. Um, there's his head underneath. Um, not too bad as far as stuff underneath. We do see his head, but I mean, he compacts pretty well in there. I am digging this. Definitely a cool looking car mode. For size comparison, here we have the Alternator's Prowl next to the Generation's Prowl, and wow, what a difference in size. I mean, this guy just kind of, let me put him in the back here uh, so we can see the two side by side. I mean, it's twice the size. Um, very similar paint deco um, with the police and the highway patrol, obviously. I mean, it's supposed to be Prowl. We got the same swoop up front, but there's no police badge on this. Um, the other thing that's kind of sad is that the doors were um, in the front piece here that was clear plastic that they painted and yeah I don't I don't like the way that looks anymore it's just kind of just looking bad uh, didn't age well um, and it's even got the red police uh, bars on the top now I wish this was red and blue but Prowl did have the red bar total red bar not every police car has red and blue but they do around here and that's what I'm used to that's you know what I think a police car should look like but it is what it is. It is G1 accurate. Here we have the Alternator's Prowl next to the Generation's Nightbeat. Here's Prowl next to the Combiner Wars Dead End. And finally, here he is next to the Combiner Wars Breakneck. All right, one last uh, shot of some of the detail work. Um, again, I wanted to take a look at the interior, so I'm just going to open the doors up here. Um, love how the doors open up on these guys. I just, that's just really cool. The other neat thing is they've got actual mirrors, uh, which is nice. But yeah, let's just take a look at the interior here. They did a great job with that, I think. Um, they do that with all of the alternator figures, and I'm just really impressed by that, and I just think that is so damn cool. So, yeah, uh, definitely cool, uh, definitely fun. Love this line of toys. Wish they would pick this up again, uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at Prowl in his robot mode. And here we have Prowl in his robot mode, and I like the figure. It's nice. Uh, transformation on the figure is not too terribly bad. Um, it's funny because I was going back and watching one of Cake Up 83's videos. Um, he did a, a review on Camshaft, which is basically the same mold. And this door popped off of him. His uh, left shoulder door popped off during transformation. Mine did the exact same thing. I thought that was kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, so here he is in the robot mode. Now, I did not show off the engine. Uh, so there's the engine. That just transforms into his gun like this. Um, so yeah, that's kind of interesting. I did like how they incorporated the engine parts into there. I'm just going to throw that off to the side for the moment. Looking at the figure himself, I do like the figure. It's a very different rendition of Prowl with some touches to the original G1. The hood obviously going flat down. Um, it's different. It's very different. I don't know if I liked it initially, but the more I look at it, the more I'm liking it. Um, the one thing I will say, the door. So we got the door uh, wings here, but they're going flat instead of kind of uh, back up like this. I wish this had a spin joint where you could flip it down and turn those around. Uh, if they could do that, I would really, really have dug it a lot more. As it is now, it is okay. His arms look a little too skinny to me, but they got some really nice detail on them. And there are issues with the legs, and a lot of people um, go on about the legs. Uh, I'm going to put a link to Caked Up 83's camshaft video here. Uh, definitely go check him out. Uh, you're going to see a difference in the legs. Uh, these are actually backwards compared to uh, some of the other figure legs. Now, this is the way it's supposed to be according to the instructions, but a lot of people are not digging that. Um, I will put a link in the description below to show you how to modify these. Unfortunately, I don't have the time to do that today, uh, but just kind of a cheat real fast. I'm just going to turn him around uh, so you can give him uh, the G1 style legs if you so wanted to. Uh, um, which is kind of cool, but uh, yeah, I mean, 
it, it is what it is sort of deal. So yeah, definitely cool. I am really digging the paint apps on him. Uh, the kind of bluish uh, gray color is interesting. It breaks up off the white and off of the silver. Um, I think I would have preferred if that was just white, to be honest. If they just painted that white, it would have been a lot cooler. Um, we got the feet, the little kind of reddish paint picks on his crotch and his uh, shins there. Uh, he does have a spot for his uh, nightstand to, or uh, nightstand nightstick uh, to sit, which is really really cool. Uh, but yeah, overall, I really dig it. Dig the head sculpt. Just a nice looking figure all around. So just a close up of the figure itself. Really really digging him. I think he looks really nice. That head sculpt is awesome. Uh, very G1 style. Uh, the arms, like I said, are a little skinny, but they've got this nice pearlish color, and I like how it's got the little tiny police symbol there on the shoulder, on uh, both sides of the shoulders, actually. Um, and then this one has a little tiny Autobot logo, so that is really, really cool. I am digging that. Um, him to stand is kind of goofy right now. Um, but yeah, overall, I think they did a good job with that head sculpt. Very G1-esque. Uh, definitely digging him. Uh, just kind of a a flyby here. Here are the arms, like in the arms, just feel a little skinny. Um, and the detail, very, very nice. Um, and here's his little baton thing, uh, just kind of plugs out there. Why this is red, I'm not sure. I don't know if it's supposed to be like an energy baton or what the deal is with this thing, but yeah, just kind of strange to me. I don't know. But overall, definitely a cool looking figure. So here we have Prowl holding his little weapon and it doesn't go in as well as some of the other alternators. One thing I have noticed, uh, the feet, the ball joints on the feet are a little bit loose, but as long as you spread the legs out, you don't have too much of an issue. Now I will say that one thing I liked was the fold out boot heel. I thought that was really cool. And then the other thing that is really neat with the figure, um, he does have hand articulation. Um, on both his fingers here and the trigger finger. So that is really, really nice. I am appreciative of that. Yeah, you see how he kind of wants to wobble over a little, but if you stand him just right, he's perfectly fine. So that's really about the only issue I've got there. Uh, along with the, the knee joints, because of the car on the back of the knee, it doesn't really want to um, you know, bend very well, but uh, again, with your uh, modifications you can do to the leg, check out below, that should help out there. For size comparison, here we have the Alternator's Prowl next to the Masterpiece Prowl, and wow, what a size difference. Um, the Alternator is definitely a lot bigger figure, and it really kind of surprised me. Uh, but I, the look of the Masterpiece, I still really, really like. Um, I am torn between these because I like both styles. I like how this is more of a modern updated and a larger figure, um, but this is a very good figure too, and they're both very, very well detailed. Um, it's a toss up really on which one I like better, but um, I'm, I think I'm going with this one just because it's a little closer, well, it's a lot closer to the G1 uh, version. I think if the legs were a little more stable on this figure, we had white paints to the blue down there, and instead of the silvery helmet, pearlish helmet, it was white, um, and the doors flipped back. I think I'd like this one a little bit more, but man, that's a lot of critiques, isn't it? It's actually a really good figure. Um, it's just hard to compare these two, to be honest. Here we've got the Alternator's Prowl next to the Masterpiece Tiger Track, and you can see a significant size difference. Um, he's actually a lot bigger than this Masterpiece figure, which is kind of interesting. Um, I don't know if it's that far out of scale, but uh, it's definitely a little bit bigger. Here we have Prowl next to the Generations Ironhide. And here's Prowl next to the Transformers Q Red Alert. Here we have Prowl next to the upgraded Transformers Prime Voyager Class Megatron. And, well, I don't think Megs is going to be shooting Prowl down in this matchup. And here we got the Alternator's Prowl with the Transistor from KFC, or not Blaster, Masterpiece figure. And I think... Blaster's a little bit too tall in comparison to Prowl. They should be a little bit closer in scale, but the Alternator's Prowl actually, I think, stands a lot better against uh, this 
masterpiece uh, size than the masterpiece prowl or tiger track and finally here we have the alternators prowl with the mp10u ko ultra magnus uh, masterpiece figure and you know, this is actually not a bad scale. I think this scale works better with Prowl to Prime versus the actual Masterpiece. I think those just are a little bit too small. Um, they always seem like they came up to about Prime's chest in the cartoon, and I think this scale works really nice. So, is the Alternators Prowl a figure you want in your Transformers collection? Well, if you're an Alternators or a Binaltech fan, absolutely yes, you're going to want this figure to complete it out. If you're a Prowl fan, I think you're going to like this figure overall. Um, it has a lot of nods to the original G1, but there are some differences. Uh, you can get it to look a little bit more G1 accurate with the leg mod if you follow the link below. Um, you know, and I, I, there's a lot of gripes I've put on this figure, like the doors and the color of the head and the color of the legs and how small the arms are. But those are just nitpicks, to be honest. I mean, this is a really nice figure, and it's going to look really great up on the uh, shelf with all my other alternator figures. Uh, it's a nice, modern take on Prowl, and you really can't go wrong with that. I think that is really, really cool. So, again, a big thank you to my good friend, CakeUp83. Check out his channel. I'll put a link down below. Subscribe to him. He does some really great Transformers reviews and other toy reviews. Definitely a nice guy. Thank you, sir. And there he is, Prowl from Transformers Alternators. If you guys like this video, definitely thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. Thank you very much for subscribing to my channel. I really do appreciate that and the sharing of my videos. Thank you, guys. That is so appreciated. And as always, look for more videos in the future.